On 26 July 1953, a small but determined band of rebels stormed the Moncada military barracks in Santiago de Cuba. The attack was a failure with many killed while Fidel Castro and his brother Raul escaped unharmed. The attack was futile but it ignited a revolution mostly waged from the Sierra Maestra mountain range. This revolution would overthrow then Cuban President Fulgencio Batista and led to the eventual triumph of the Cuban Revolution on the 1st of January 1959. Quoting Raul Castro, former president, Cuban ambassador to Namibia, Geraldo Mazzola, rallied those in attendance. We can affirm that no matter how difficult circumstances, no matter how great the challenges, our people will defend the socialist revolution forever. True to that spirit, Cuba is now on the brink of another revolutionary moment. In accordance with Article 137 of the Cuban Constitution, Cuba's parliament is subjecting the Constitution to total reform. This change will undoubtedly ratify the irrevocable purpose of continuing to build socialism in our country, to maintain free education and health for all, that internationalism reside over our foreign policy and that the change we implemented are always a sovereign decision of our people and that never, we will never negotiate on the treaties. The International Relations Permanent Secretary pointed out that what ignited the Cuban Revolution draws parallels with Namibia's own liberation struggle for freedom and independence. Indeed. Namibia's continuous engagement with Cuba is motivated by a number of factors based on historically strong bonds of friendship and solidarity that existed before independence. The celebrations were concluded with the Domino Championships that symbolizes Cuba's and the rest of the world's continued rejection of the decades-long U.S. economic blockade against the Caribbean.